Tell me, as you look on the DraftKings Sportsbook, let's take a look at some long shots. You got an early long shot. You like to win it all next year, Garyon? I would say automatically the Rays, 16 to 1. They are always undervalued. They are always a good team. It doesn't even matter who's on that 26 man roster. And also, not to sound too much like Steve Buchanan, Mariners at 40 to 1. Yeah. Um, the Athletics have basically already said we're going full cheapo mode this year. That leaves just the Astros really in the American League West. I think the Mariners are actually going to spend some money this year. And if they do, if they bring in a big time free agent addition in January or February, this number is going to be 25 or 30 to one before first pitch in April. So I would hop on it now if you have any faith in Jerry DePoto to do anything. This yeah, month. I love that. They're trying to turn the corner. And, you know, at times this season, they looked ahead of schedule. Maybe they do spend a kind of speed up the timeline there. Nick, what about you? You like a long shot here in the DK Sportsbook? I, I was going to make a joke about the Mariners, actually, but I do agree with Gary and that that is, you know, because I know Steve's all over Seattle and everything. But I, I the other one that for me is the Red Sox at 16 to one as well. Um, I understand what the Rays, you know, every year they seem to be in it, no matter who's on their roster. But the Red Sox, too, where they tore things down, it seemed like when they got rid of Mookie Betts, as much as they still had talent there, it seemed like they were mailing it in. And they're kind, they've kind of been ahead of schedule with Heim Bloom. And, you know, I know they sputtered out at the end against the Astros, but they weren't that far away from getting all the way. You're going to get Chris Sale back next year you got to imagine that they're going to make some adjustments with that roster uh for the better as much as you may lose a guy like Schwarber or someone um but I think that the Red Sox at 16 to 1 too given how they surprised everybody this year and then were resilient uh, you know after they had some hiccups significant hiccups throughout the season that's and again 16 to 1 I think that's a good pick as well